Hi, this is Tim. Today I want to talk to you about a feature of Allen Bradley's Connected Components Workbench that will help your transition from RS Logic 500 to CCW or back and forth between Studio 5000 and CCW. And the addition of this feature in CCW was the final push that made me finally embrace the Connected Components Workbench and the Micro 800 line of PLCs. And it's right up here. You'll see there's a theme right here. And if you don't see this in yours, then you need to upgrade your Connected Components Workbench software. There's an add-on to version 11, but mainly this is well integrated in version 12 of the Connected Components Workbench. I'll put a link in the description that will show you how to download the Connected Components Workbench software for free. Now we have our Getting Started program open that comes with all of our trainers, but any program will do this. And to show the big thing that this does, if we just go over here to the Bit tab, and if we switch this to default, then you're gonna see that nothing looks quite the same. And what this is, is this is the IEC 61131-3 programming standard. And that's what the Connected Components Workbench software was built on. However, RS Logix 500 and Studio 5000, which are kind of complementary to it, weren't built on that. So this allows you to switch between that protocol and what they're calling the Logix theme. And probably the big ones, you can see some of these like this one, the ONS or the One Shot Rising is much more recognizable. And also your lights, your unlights, your OSFs, all your instructors are gonna be more recognizable. And in addition to just simply making the view different, now you can also copy and paste between Studio 5000 and Connected Components Workbench. So I can take a program that I've written in Studio 5000 I can copy the rungs of it. I can paste it into the Connected Components Workbench and I'll have to mainly adjust my address, which you would have to do almost any time you're copy and pasting between different PLCs. These two features right here were very important in making it where you could smoothly jump between their different lines of PLCs. And now I, can, I know I'm already gonna get messages about this. People are gonna say, Tim, why aren't you showing people how to use the IEC 61131-3 protocol? There's several reasons. One, I don't run into it anywhere. It's very rare for me to run into something that is using this protocol. When you're starting out, you're going to be working on older equipment, which probably is going to be using the more traditional ladder logic. You know, somebody's going to tell you, hey, go out and look at that old Slick 500 there, and let's see what we need to do to make that program work in a Micro 800 PLC. Well, so you're going to need to be familiar with ladder logic. Also, I read a survey recently about the North American market, and 85% of programmers are either not familiar at all with that protocol or they're only somewhat familiar with it. You may say this is the latest and the greatest thing. It's not what industry is using. It's not what people want to see on a resume. If you were to say on a resume that you were familiar with IEC 61131-3 programming, I mean, people would glaze right over it. If you say you're familiar with Studio 5000 programming, Allen Bradley RS Logix 500 programming, and really even RS Logix 5 program for the PLC 5, that will just carry a lot more weight. So you have the option. You can keep this at the default theme or you can switch to the Logix theme. But I think it's important that you realize that both are there. And I do believe that the Logix theme does make it much easier to transition to Studio 5000 or especially if you happen to be doing applications that really some require the Micro 800, some require a compact or control logics, it'll allow working with both of them at the same time to just go a lot smoother. I just wanna make sure you're aware of that feature. In our training series, we will be using the Logix theme, and I'll put a link to the Connected Components Workbench training series in the description. Please take a moment to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel. We put out at least one automation video a week. Also, if you happen to make some money off our content, but you're not actually using our products, please consider supporting us on Patreon. Till next time. Hi, this is Tim. And this is Amber of TW Controls. We run the automation store. Be sure to subscribe for more great videos. And like this video and comment on what you would like to see next. Visit our website where we offer a full line of PLCs, simulators, control panels, PLC trainers, and more.